Alright, what's going on guys, Rosalyn here, and today we have some DLC information. We actually got a video showcasing the maps, uh, you know, the new weapon, and the Exo Zombies mode in the Havoc DLC, which is scheduled to release January 27th, so, you know, that's only a couple more weeks away. We'll have four new maps. Uh, in case you guys don't have the Season Pass already, you will get the AE4 and the variant, the Widowmaker, and then we're all going to get Zombies, is what I'm most, uh, I guess, excited for. I really can't wait for that. But uh, we got details on the maps, uh, pretty much what they're about, and say there's some dynamic events in the map. So we're going to go ahead and break that down for you guys today, give you guys uh, the dynamic events and how the maps might play out, give you guys a couple screenshots of what the maps are like, talk about Exo Zombies. We'll probably talk about that for a little bit because that's what I'm most excited for. So hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys could, drop an early like on it. It helps the channel grow. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the maps. All right, so the first map we're going to be talking about is going to be Urban. And Urban, it has a picture here, and it has the Texas Ward. So I'm guessing this is going to be a built around maybe a futuristic city in Texas. That's just the best thing that I could guess there, just going off of what the picture is. But it looks like this map is very fast, chaotic. So if you guys out there like to run and gun with the shotguns, even though the shotguns in this game aren't the best, uh, if you guys like to use those type of guns, you know, they're close quarter engagements, this is definitely going to be the map for you guys. I really am excited about this map. It looks like it's really fast. You know, I like to run around, double jump, boost, try to get as many kills as I can. I feel like this map is going to be well suited for that type of play style. So I definitely can't wait for this map to come out. But the next map we're going to be talking about is Core. And I believe that this map is built around a fallen radio radioactive nuclear um, site that is in the Gobi Desert so that's pretty cool that they're coming uh, with you know some nuclear radioactive things and there's a dynamic event uh, with this map and it, there's like these little drones that fly around and they like ram you like little bumper cars and and if they hit you then you're gonna die uh, so that, that's pretty cool that they have some more dynamic events within this map it, this map kind of looks like it's uh, open it does have some like closer middle middle uh, I guess areas that might be really fast paced so I definitely can't wait to play it For the third map we're gonna be talking about drift and drift I think is in the Rocky Mountains it's kind of got like a festival theme going on we have some lights some Christmas trees a little carousel going around there uh, I think one of the persons said uh, that the carousel was like a little hot spot. You can get on top of it, lay on the lay on like the, the actual carousel part where all of like the the figurines are at. You can you know rotate, do like a 360. Uh, that'd be sweet if you could get like you know 20 or 30 kills while only on the carousel. That'd be cool. Uh, but the dynamic event for this map is actually pretty impressive. It's an avalanche that actually takes out a whole street. That's I think that's pretty. That's pretty ridiculous, honestly. I don't know how I feel about that because I've got a, I got a feeling that's probably going to kill me if I'm on a pretty good streak. But I think that's cool that they've actually implemented that. I, I, I saw it in the, within the picture when they first like actually revealed the poster for it. I thought that was pretty cool that they actually had an avalanche within within the map. I think that's pretty cool. Last but not least, for the four multiplayer maps, we're going to be talking about Sideshow. And Sideshow looks like it's built around some apartments. Uh, there's some bedrooms there. They said that it was pretty much built around some like children's nightmares. There's a lot of clowns there. It looks like it's kind of got some open lanes of sight towards the middle, but the bedrooms definitely are going to be good for your close engagement. So I guess you're going to get the best of both worlds also on this map. The dynamic event for this map is a a bomb the the clown in the middle as you can see right here he actually tips his hat and these bombs come off like they, they kind of look like little Mario bombs if you guys know what those are kind of look like little Mario bombs and you can actually pick these up and throw them at people kind of like the ball or the satellite within uplink I think that that's actually really cool you might be able to play a hot potato with it I don't know if that's gonna be possible because once you throw it it might blow up but it'd be sweet if you could throw it back and forth and play a little hot potato game so that'd be cool but it looks like that map is gonna be I guess kind of catered to your long lens style so AR sniper rifles are gonna reign supreme but you do have those uh, bedrooms so you might be able to get away with using some machine gun. We're also going to be getting a new DLC weapon. In case you guys do not have the season pass yet, you'll be getting the AE4 and the variant AE4 Widowmaker, which will be unlocked right when you get the DLC. Uh, there's also potentially going to be, I guess, what would that be? Eight more variants of the AE4. So, you know, you'll have like a, you know, listed, um, professional, and the elite versions of the AE4, which will be sweet to get. Because uh, the AE4 is not the best. I actually have the season pass, so I was able to get early, I guess, kind of early footage of it. It's kind of early, but everybody could get it. Uh, so that's cool that you guys will be uh, you finally be able to get that if you don't have the season pass. Last but not least, we have the most important thing within this map pack, in my opinion, which is the DLC zombies. Uh, this is, is just, I hope that this this zombies like is just on a whole nother level, and it's not a disappointment, because I cannot wait 
for the zombies, man. I am so pumped while watching this trailer. And there'll be a link in the description in case you guys want to check it out. Man, this zombies, it looks awesome. And, and I made a video a couple of weeks ago that didn't get too many views. I, I think sub boxes were broke that day. But I was saying that I don't want them to just make a reskinned version of Riot or, you know, Solar or whatever. It looks like they actually made a map dedicated for zombies, which is sweet. I'm definitely pumped for that. I'm glad that they did that and glad they didn't take the easy way out. Uh, from what I can tell, it looks like it's just a solely dedicated map for zombies or for exo zombies. Let me take that back. Exo zombies. And one thing that I'm really excited for that I thought was definitely top notch is they actually have or actors doing the character voices so I can't remember the actually guy's name uh, he did like the main guy within the campaign he played on house of cards I can't remember his name it's not I can't it's at the top of my head but I can't remember it uh, but the actors that they have for the characters actually within the game are Rose McGowan and I can't think of anything that she played in I'm on her IMDB and there's one thing charmed I don't know what that I think it's a TV show I don't know really what it's about but uh, I'm sure you guys don't know either because it looks like it's kind of like a, a, a girly top TV show. So you guys might not know what that's about. But the second character is John Malkovich. And you guys probably will know what he's played from. He's played in a couple of pretty good movies. Uh, Empire of the Sun. Uh, that's kind of an actually old movie. You guys might not know what that is. And he also played in Transformers. I think it's the last movie he played in. He's like the uh, like the big head of that company. Uh, that uh, Sam Witwicky tries to get a, a job with. I think it's the last movie. I'm not 100% sure about that. Next, we have Bill Paxton. This guy is a legend, man. I love watching him play in all kinds of movies. He played in Apollo 13 and the Aliens. He actually played in, well, I think he played Randall McCoy in the Hatfield and McCoy's TV miniseries. Uh, it's a TV show. Uh, I think it came out in 2012, so you guys might know what that is. He actually did a pretty good job. I actually like his acting. But last but not least, we have probably the most famous, I guess, character here within this uh, Exo Zombies. You guys definitely will know who this guy is. He played in The Wolf of Wall Street and Fury. I haven't seen that movie yet, but he also played in that. But what he's most famous for is going to be Shane from The Walking Dead. That's right, we have Shane from The Walking Dead who is actually experienced with zombies. So he might actually have some quotes from The Walking Dead maybe in this. This is definitely really cool. Has me really excited for the zombies. Uh, if you guys can't tell, it's what I've been pretty much talking about this whole video for is zombies. I'm really, really excited. Can't wait for that. I'm sure you guys are really excited for zombies too because because like the little co-op mode that we have in Advanced Warfare is not the best. So I'm really excited for zombies. If you guys want to, leave a like on the video. Like I said earlier, it helps the channel grow. Let me know down in the comments below on what you're most excited for. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a pleasure, guys. And until the next time, this is Rising Out. Peace.